So, you just got your brand new Huawei Mate 30 Pro without Google and you don't know how to install all the applications? Well then watch this video until the end, because I'll show you all the ways on how to get your favorite apps on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Alright guys, so here's my Huawei Mate 30 Pro which I've been using for the last months and well, it's a fantastic smartphone and today I also want to show you how to survive without Google and use alternate applications or some workarounds. So yeah, let's go and let's jump directly in. Now, most of the people in Europe and in the US, they use Facebook and WhatsApp. Now, it's pretty cool that Facebook offers an APK download directly from their website. So you go to um, facebook.com slash Android underline upgrade. And as soon as you go to the website, you can press the download button and then it's downloading Facebook to your Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So you don't need any workaround here for Facebook, just install it from the official website and this is really great. All you have to do is go here to install, as you can see, installation successful and boom, there we go. You now have Facebook on your Mate 30 Pro. Now as um, Facebook and WhatsApp are basically the same company, this for sure also works for WhatsApp. So you go to whatsapp.com slash Android and here you can just go to download now, download the APK and then the installation will start automatically once the download is finished and you press on it. There you go. As you can see, no risks detected. You go to install and boom, you have WhatsApp on your Mate 30 Pro. And while it's working fine, there are absolutely no issues with that. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm personally a YouTuber, so I rely on YouTube on a daily basis. So it's not um, possible to install the official YouTube application. Well, it's possible to install the application, but you cannot use it. But there is a workaround for this. So um, if you uh, like to watch YouTube movies, you can actually go to YouTube Wenst. Um, I will leave you a link down below in the description as well. And as you can see, this is another alternative YouTube application and you don't need root access. So this works on your stock Huawei Mate 30 Pro. You go to non-root, and there you go. Um, you can choose a theme. I will choose the pink one because why not? And there we go. Add it to download list. Now wait for it to download. And this will just take a few seconds. There you go. Open up the APK. Go to install it. As you can see, YouTube pink. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. And there we go, it's now installing YouTube on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So you can now open it up and as you can see, this looks exactly the same like the YouTube application. You can even log in here at the top, as you can see, sign in, use um, YouTube as you do in the YouTube application on the official application, which is really cool. You have your subscriptions here, trending, inbox, library. It's basically the same like the YouTube application on my P30 Pro. All right, guys, then let me now show you a little bit what's happening in the app gallery. So the app gallery is basically Huawei's um, own um, app store. So um, with downloading from the app gallery, you don't run into any risk like um, downloading a suspicious third party application. Now Huawei is really improving their app gallery. Now that means they are adding new apps every day. And as you can see, all the big apps are already on there, like there's TikTok. There are some local applications like web application for my country, um, a news app, um, website. So um, here, grocery store, Amazon is there, uh, mobile phone provider, well, Viber is there, and you can also check it out. They also have some pretty cool games right now. So the top games for Android for sure, we can go into categories, games, action games, for instance. As you can see, here we have Fortnite, here we have World of Tanks, and you can download everything here from the app gallery, so there is no need for the Play Store. In order to use the app gallery, um, basically to use all the features, you need to log in with your Huawei ID. This is basically um, an ID you create when you get your Huawei smartphone. Um, this also works to use it on multiple Huawei devices. So basically you can see here your Huawei account and you also have the cloud features, which I want to show you because instead of um, Google Cloud, so you can use Huawei Cloud, you also get their um, free space. As you can see, my space is already full because right now it's five gigabytes. Um, you can sync here your photos, contacts, calendar, notepad, Huawei Drive and basically it's the same like Google Drive but for Huawei devices and for right now it's limited to 5 gigabytes on the free plan. So um, if you want to you can switch from Google Drive but you can still use Google Drive in the web browser. 
So as you see, um, Huawei smartphones, so the new ones are not running Google Chrome. So they're using um, the browser which comes pre-installed, but you can still access the Google Drive if you go to drive.google.com. And here guys, as you can see, I have all my files in there, like pictures, um, documents I've written. So you can also download all that without having the Google Drive application on your smartphone. So that's a workaround if you rely on Google Drive for work. Um, you cannot have the application, but at least you can use it like this. The same goes for the email. So you won't have a Gmail application, but as you can see, I'm actually locked in here with my Google account. Now, how do I do it? Well, Huawei has um, the feature to add for sure um, a Google account, and I can go here to the inboxes. As you can see, this is my, my Google email, and you just open up the email application. And from here, from the settings, you can go to add account. And as you can see here, you can um, add an Outlook account, Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or others. So you don't really rely on the Google Mail application. Now you have probably used Google Maps for navigation. Well, on the Huawei, you cannot install Google Maps, but you can use Google Maps in the browser. But if you don't want to use that, um, there are actually plenty of alternatives here in the Huawei app gallery. You just have to search for GPS. And as you can see, um, there's offline navigation. Carta GPS is actually pretty good because it's free offline GPS. And well, you can pick whatever you want. There is also TomTom, Web Maps, City2Go. So plenty of things you can actually pick here from the store and use. So you don't need to rely on Google. You can use offline maps, which is a pain with Google sometimes. And it was actually a really nice experience to try something else. Now, if there are still some apps missing, because while it will take Huawei some time to add all the applications to the app gallery, then you can actually go to APK Pure. Now, this is an APK um, download website where you can search for applications. For instance, I don't know, um, as you can see, there's WhatsApp, but you can download it from the official source. But for instance, there is Instagram. And all you have to do is just go to the application you want to install, go to download APK, then it's downloading the APK. And then here in the file manager, you will see downloading, you tap it, you go there, you install it. There you go. Just take some time. So it's a little bit a longer process than downloading it directly from the store. But as you can see, this is working fine. So you can get most of the applications either from the app gallery, from official sources, from APK websites, or well, there's also another method which I want to show you. And this is phone clone from your previous Huawei smartphone. So let's check it out. So guys, there we go. Now here's my Huawei P30 Pro. So this is basically my daily driver, the phone I've used for the whole last year. And as you can see, there are plenty of apps here on the smartphone. Now, if I want to copy any of the applications to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, I can easily do that with Phone Clone. So Phone Clone is an application um, exclusive for Huawei phones where you can transfer data between Huawei smartphones. So you say in Phone Clone that your P30 or your previous smartphone is the old phone, and now you can choose which um, application you want to copy. So you just have to grant here some rights. So you go to this is the old phone, allow here a um, phone clone that it can basically um, access your, your data. You go to phone clone on the Mate 30 Pro. You say this is the new phone, go to allow, allow. And here you choose that your old phone type is a Huawei smartphone, but you can also choose other Android smartphones. So it works also with if your old smartphone is, for instance, an Android phone or an iPhone or iPad. And here in my case, it's a Huawei smartphone. So I go here, scan the QR code. And as you can see, it's already connecting to the Mate 30 Pro. All right, guys, and as you can see, it will actually just copy all my data, which is 141 gigabytes to the Mate 30 Pro, but I don't want that. So I'll quickly choose some applications which I want to share with the phone. So I did now choose five applications which I want to copy and I just go to transfer and I have to put in my lock screen. And as you can see, it's now sending the applications to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So this is actually working fine. It's copying all the data or Wi-Fi, as you can see. Um, it's now importing the applications on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. I can already put the P30 Pro away and it's now importing the applications to my new smartphone. So this takes some time, but as you can see, all the applications are now here on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So basically, this is how you survive without Google, how to get applications. You can almost get everything except of some official applications, but there are workarounds for almost everything. And while you cannot use Google Pay and all this stuff right now, but 
I don't really use that too often and Google Pay is not working most of the time in Austria anyway. So all in all for me the Mate 30 Pro is still a really nice phone and yeah um, it starts now to sell in Austria from this month. So if you're from Austria you can also check it out but also check out if it sells in your other countries if you're interested in this phone and yeah um, it's a little bit hard to get some applications but all in all it's just a little bit more effort and you can also survive without being catched in that Google ecosystem. Alrighty guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and while well, I've been using the Huawei Mate 30 Pro since the release without Google and well, actually I got all my application from various sources and right now also the Huawei app gallery is improving so they're adding more and more applications over time. Now I really hope that this video was helpful and so far I have to say I'm really happy with the smartphone because as a video creator I really rely on a good camera for videos and pictures also for Instagram and the Mate 30 Pro is definitely one of the best smartphones out there also without Google. So if you're interested I'll leave you some links down below. The Mate 30 Pro and the Mate 30 now start to sell in a lot of countries so check it out guys and if you can live without Google and also use some third-party applications which can be nice from time to time like to try out new applications then make sure you give it a try. Alrighty guys so big thanks for watching as always guys I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye!